Hey everybody, I'm Elena and as you probably have seen on the vlogs and whatnot recently, I went away for a week and lo and behold, I had to stop at the, the, the makeup stores, of course, me being me. I, sorry, I have this big cold, so sorry for that. But I tried to, to do the less damage possible, if possible, so I went all drugstore all affordable products that I really wanted to try so without further ado I'm just gonna show them to you and uh, yeah first things first I stopped at the, well let's just it was a couple of stores but one is called Julia and the other one is called Primer so you can see it fits in here it's nothing crazy but first things first I went ahead and I grabbed this wet and wild color icon and reserve your cabana here it says it's a bronzer but Honestly, it's a highlighter. Mine, you know the story, it got, it fell to the ground, it got crashed into a million pieces. I fixed it with rubbing alcohol, but it's not been the best ever since. So for the price, it's less than four euros. I decided to go ahead and splurge a little bit and get myself a fresh new one since I loved it. There's that. Uh, from Wet n Wild as well, I went ahead and I grabbed this eyeshadow in here. I, I'm not doing close-ups because I've, I've been having issues again, you know, with the blurriness with the camera, but this is brulee or creme brulee, this is a single shadow, this is less than two euros, and this is perfect, you know, to clean the corner of my eyes and the brow bone area for me, or to wear as a nude shade, you know, something that looks just like your lids if you are my skin color or similar. If you are a darker skin, uh, tone if you have a darker skin tone this could be a good matte highlighter for the inner tear dot so this is a staple one i never had this in single but i thought it was about time you know for the price i went ahead and splurged and that's pretty self-explanatory right again from wet and wild i decided to go ahead and try this liquid cat suit uh, matte lipsticks that uh, everyone has been raving about them here on YouTube and I just recently saw that saw it at the drugstore there that drugstore is not in my hometown so it was pretty interesting and I grabbed this color which I'm gonna wear later on probably today I, I don't know why I didn't wear it for the video but is it called it, it is called rebel rose and as you can see it's a mauvey color real beautiful and yeah, I can't wait to, right now I'm wearing a bit worn, a bit worn down Rouge Volupte from YSL from way back when. Don't judge me, it's broken, I want to use it up, yada yada. Then from Essence, I wanted something, I went, I was feeling like chocolate. I don't know whether it's the cold or it's the cold weather outside or what it is, but I didn't want to commit to a really expensive Cat Von D. Uh, chocolatey color unless I tried it first see what it you know how it looked because I have deep wine colors that I really love but true brown I never wore you know a really deep brown so I went ahead and I grabbed this essence ultra last it's in color and color number 20 this is three euros and some cash and this is a this one down here and it's a really true chocolate lip shade and as you can see it just has the sheen and uh, yeah it's good to try again to pair it with this i grabbed from essence as well this was two euros and, uh, and 30 cents give or take this is the color deeply intoxicated this is a soft contouring lip liner and the and the color is deeply intoxicated again and i'm swatching you thick in here for you guys but as you can see it's a chocolatey lip liner again you know i was really feeling the chocolate vibes so i grabbed this and uh, for the purchase but i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show that to you last and then continuing with the chocolate theme i went to the girl at the counter and i i asked her you know i'm looking for a chocolate nail polish a true chocolate nail polish and she, we were looking around and we couldn't find one, to be honest, not even high-end that I wasn't willing to spend, but ta-da! I don't know, maybe it's a bit worn down, it's my second day, it's not the best polish in the world, but this, that's a color, can I keep my hands steady without moving that? And this is the color 
Fertile Land number 24 from this brand that I never heard of that it's called Dare Nails. It's 1 euros and 90 cents for 11 mils, so it's really flipping affordable. So, while well, I read the price, you know, 1 euro and 90 cents, this is cheaper than Essence. Let me go ahead and check for some other colors. So, I went ahead for a more toppy one. This one is called Taupe, duh, because it's a taupe shade, so it's not as chocolatey. Maybe I could do an accent taupe shape and then all chocolate or the other way around and I haven't tried that yet because I need it like I needed to wear chocolate nails in my life it was like a necessity of my again this was one euro 90 cents their nails never heard of that brand it says made in the EU that's <laughs> that's how far I can tell you about the story and last but not least I got given this you know for the purchase I don't know if it's because it's Christmas because it's a new brand never heard of this is called Miss Cup Miss Cup makeup blush in the color Vieux Rose which means old rose in French and I haven't even opened that because I wanted to share the excitement with you guys or the the sieve I don't know. So they gave me a blush and I thought, okay, so th thank you. Thank you. So right off the bat, it has a bit of a sheen. It's not a matte blush. And I can see it's a really wearable color. Let's just swatch. It feels really soft to the touch. Here you can see the swatch on my finger. And I wouldn't dare to say this is the most pigmented, the, the most color payoff ever. I bet it's an affordable brand never heard of. Let me know if you heard about Miss Cop. <laughs> it's a bit funny, like Miss Cop, whatever. But yeah, it's this color, subtle color in here. So, so either way, did I go blurry? Or it's my contact lenses. So either way, this is going to be truly wearable for an everyday basis for when you're wearing a mauve look but still you don't want to wear truly mauve cheeks you know something toned down for an everyday this is going to be a good wearable blush for my kind of complexion so I'm I will try it and keep it up keep up keep you and keep you guys updated with all that sure I will try it on if you want to see how this products perform and up till then I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and if you did please make sure to give it a good thumbs up also don't forget to click the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and leave a comment let me know what you think and have a great day see you in the next one bye